John Prescott, great to meet you. Thanks for coming out to a live expo, uh, a live expo Green Pavilion today. My pleasure. So what does an eco-friendly life mean to you? Uh, an eco-friendly life is something that, uh, fortunately enough for me growing up in Oregon, is always been a part of, of our lives. Um, recycling, this is something we've always done, riding our bikes, um, whatever it is, you know. And uh, when I lived in L.A., I was, I was very green conscious. I actually worked with uh, BP for a while at the first ever LEED certified green gas station. So, big part of my life. Could you ride your bike in L.A.? That's, uh... I could, but uh, not everywhere unless you have a death wish. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I'd love to, but God, traffic is such a nightmare there. But So Sundance, though, you're in hell, and that's yeah. been getting so much buzz. Yeah, yeah. We were, uh, we were the first out of the gate. We had a great premiere last Thursday night, and um, we've just been having fun ever since, you know, promoting the movie, uh, doing whatever we can to get. I mean, it is a great movie with a great message and a very unique film, too, um, with, its, with its format, and we're really happy that... Uh, it's at Sundance because it's it's the perfect film for Sundance. And what was it like working with James Franco and some of your castmates? Uh, James was great. I mean, he's a, a total professional, smart guy. Um, and uh, the directors were wonderful too. Everybody on board was uh, well versed in the in the history of, of what went on in the in the late '40s, early '50s, uh, with the Beat Generation. What what caused Howell to come out of the mind of Allen Ginsberg? And and it was a real treat to be a part of the film. All right, and I should mention, though, you were on As the World Turns, which actually just got the axe, if yeah. I may say so, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's too bad. There are a lot of great people to work over at World Turns. Um, I, I hope it's, uh, you know, I, I, and, and I'm sure, you know, a lot of strong people, too, so I have, I have no doubt that everybody will move on and, and life will continue to be great. But, you know, it's a sad show. It's on the air for 54 years or something like that. So World Turns is gone. Guiding Light just ended. You know, it's, it's just, it's, you know, I, I guess I've heard only the special soaps are going to survive. Um, which is unfortunate that you can produce a game show for a tenth while you can produce drama, but you know it's the it's the way the world's turning and and the wow that was sort of a pun. The world turns, <laughs> wow. yeah, okay. See, it'll go on forever. Yeah, you know, I'll leave it at that. Okay. When the world does stop turning, there will be a trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, well, at least you're already transitioning to Sundance, so that's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, we're having a great time here, a great film, Howl, and I uh, look forward to to what's next. Been doing a lot of partying too. Yes. I'm trying to get people to admit on camera what they've been doing, but I don't know. Man, it's 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 one thing to another, you know. Uh, we're just we're, we're having a good time. We meet a lot of great people, a lot of creative people out here. It's it's a it's a real privilege to be around uh, forces, uh, you know, creative forces like that. Well, have fun and enjoy Sundance, and thanks again for coming out to the, the Green Pavilion. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks.